how many 10 bit strings, that is bit strings of length 10, under the given conditions. Number one, the 10 bit string starts with the substring 001, which means all the 10 bit strings must be in the form here. Notice how we have seven unknown binary digits, and therefore if we can determine how many seven bit strings there are, we can determine how many 10 bit strings start with 001. Remember the total number of n bit strings is equal to two to the power of n. So because we can form two to the power of seven, seven bit strings, there are going to be two to the power of seven or 128 10 bit strings that start with 001. Number two, how many 10 bit strings have a weight of five and start with 001? So the 10 bit strings will be in the same form, where again we have these seven unknown binary digits. But also notice how the 001 has a weight of one, and since we want the 10 bit strings that have a weight of five, the weight of this seven bit string must be four. The number of seven bit strings with a weight of four is equal to the cardinality of B74, which is equal to seven choose four. Let's go ahead and evaluate this one by hand. Seven choose four is equal to seven factorial divided by the product of seven minus four factorial and four factorial. Simplifying, we have seven times six times five times four factorial all over seven minus four is three. Three factorial is three times two times one. We'll leave four factorial as four factorial. Simplifying, four factorial divided by itself simplifies to one. Notice two times three is six in the denominator. We also have a six in the numerator. Six divided by six simplifies to one, leaving us with seven times five, which is 35. There are 35 10-bit strings that have a weight of five and start with zero, zero, 001. For number three, we want to know how many 10-bit strings either start with 001 or end with 1101. We need to be careful here because there is an overlap of the 10-bit strings that start with 001 and those that end with 1101. So we'll have to use the formula that we used to determine the cardinality of a union shown here below, which means we'll have to determine the number of 10-bit strings that start with 001 and then add the number of 10-bit strings that end with 1101. This sum counts the 10-bit strings that start with 001 and end with 1101 twice, and therefore we subtract them out once. So again, we already know the number of 10-bit strings that start with 001, meaning those in this form here, is two to the seventh, and then we have plus the number of 10-bit strings that end with 1101. Well, here notice how we have six unknown binary digits, and therefore the number of six-bit strings, which is two to the sixth, will give us the number of 10-bit strings that end with 1101. So we have plus two to the sixth, and now we subtract the number of 10-bit strings that start with 001 and end with 1101. We'll notice in this case, we have three unknown binary digits, which indicates the number of 10-bit strings that start with 001 and end with 1101 is two to the third. So we have minus two to the third. Simplifying, two to the seventh plus two to the sixth minus two to the third is 184. There are 184 10-bit strings that either start with 001 or end with 1101. And for the last example, we want to determine the number of 10-bit strings that have a weight of seven and either start with 101 or end with 01 or both. And again, these two sets are going to overlap and therefore we'll have to determine the number of 10-bit strings with a weight of seven and start with 101 and then add the number of 10-bit strings with a weight of seven and end with 01. And then we'll have to subtract the number of 10-bit strings with a weight of seven and start with 101 and end with 01. Let's begin by determining the number of 10-bit strings that have a weight of seven 
and start with 101. The 10 bit strings will be in this form here, but notice how we already have two ones in the string, which have a weight of two. We want a total weight of seven, and therefore this seven bit string must have a weight of five. The number of seven bit strings with a weight of five is equal to the cardinality of B75. We'll calculate this in just a moment, and then we're gonna add the number of 10 bit elements with a weight of seven that end in zero one. We'll notice now we have a total of eight unknown binary digits, and zero one is a weight of one, and therefore this eight bit string must have a weight of six, so the total weight is seven, which means the number of 10 bit strings that have a weight of seven and end in zero one is equal to the cardinality of B86. And then finally, we need to subtract the number of 10 bit strings that have a weight of seven and start with 101 and end with 01. Notice we already have three ones in the string, and therefore this unknown string in the middle that consists of five binary digits must have a weight of four, and therefore the number of 10 bit strings that have a weight of seven and start with 101 and end with 01 is equal to the cardinality of B54. For the sake of time, I've already determined these cardinalities. The cardinality of B75 is equal to seven choose five, which is equal to 21. The cardinality of B86 is equal to eight choose six, which is equal to 28. And the cardinality of B54 is equal to five choose four, which is equal to five, which indicates the number of 10 bit strings that have a weight of seven and either start with 101 or end with 01 is equal to 21 plus 28 minus five, which is equal to 44. There are a total of 44 10-bit strings that have a weight of seven and either start with 101 or end with 01. I hope you found this helpful.